We have previously discussed the methods of point estimation which calculates a point estimate of the parameter of interest. Methods of interval estimation calculate the entire interval of plausible values of the parameter of interest. In this module, we discuss the methods of hypothesis testing which involves taking correct decisions among two contradictory claims about the parameter of interest. After studying this module, you shall be able to know about the statistical hypothesis, know about the procedure of testing, know about type 1 and type 2 error. Let us discuss some basic concepts of hypothesis testing. A. Statistical hypothesis. A statistical hypothesis is a claim about the value of the parameter of interest. Hypothesis testing involves testing two contradictory claims or statistical hypothesis regarding the parameter of interest. Hence, the objective of hypothesis testing is to decide on the basis of sample information which of the contradictory hypothesis is correct and while using this one of the hypothesis is favored over the other. It is just like a criminal trial in which the claim of innocence of the convicted person is provided to begin with and only in case of strong evidence of the contradictory claim the favored or the belief to the true hypothesis is rejected in favor of the contradictory hypothesis. The burden of the contradictory hypothesis is placed on those who believe in the alternative claim. The word hypothesis can be split into two, hypo and thesis. Hypo is below or less than. Thesis is a well-established dictum or truth. So, hypothesis is below the level of an established truth. Thus, the hypothesis need to be proved or disapproved. B. Null and alternative hypothesis. Hence, there are two kinds of statistical hypothesis. A null hypothesis, which is denoted by H0, is the claim initially believed to be true. An alternative hypothesis, that is denied by HA, is the contradictory claim to the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is rejected in favor of the alternative hypothesis in the event of sample observation providing enough evidence that H0 is not true. Based on estimation from sample data, if it does not provide enough evidence against the alternative hypothesis, the null hypothesis is held true. Hence. Hypothesis testing has only two conclusions, reject null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis. For example, 10% of goods produced by a certain manufacturer were defective and a new production process is specified which presumably is better than and hence has a lower defective rate than the one currently used. Let P represent the true proportion of defective goods produced try the new production process. Hence, the null hypothesis is P greater than 0 0.10. That is, H0 is where P is greater than or equals to 0 0.10. And the alternative hypothesis is P less than 0 0.10, where H A is less than 10. This is to say or to maintain the current belief that the new process is no better than the old one and hence has equal to or greater than proportion of defective goods produce the alternative or the contradictory claim is that the new process is better and hence has lower proportion of defective goods produced and to greater than 0.10. The null hypothesis, that is H0, 
is mostly written as an equality claim for any parameter of interest. The null hypothesis is written in the form H0 where alpha is equals to alpha naught, where alpha naught is a specified value called the critical value of the parameter. Hence, even if the null hypothesis that is H naught is equals to P greater than equals to 0 0.10 is written against the alternative hypothesis HA where P is less than 0 0.10 and aims at stating that the new process is no better than the current one used the sum claim can be restated as H naught P is equals to 10 as against the alternative hypothesis H A P is less than 0 0.10 which again couples the same process and in effect represent the same debate. Here H0 is simplified and has certain technical benefits. The null hypothesis is always stated in a neutral way. For instance, when we test for a single mean H0 is stated as H0 mu is equals to 0 and H A mu is not equals to 0. Next, we shall discuss the test procedure. We use a test procedure to determine if the null hypothesis is to be accepted or rejected. A test procedure is a rule based on which the null hypothesis is accepted or rejected. The test procedure or the rule is based upon a test statistic and a rejection region. A test statistic is a standard measure based on the sample data and on which the decision to accept or reject the null hypothesis is based. An estimate is the value obtained from the sample, for example sample mean. A rejection region is the value of the x variable for which the null hypothesis will be rejected. For example, a sample of n is equals to 200 goods produced by the new production process is put to the test H0 P is equals to 0 0.10 as against H A P is less than 0 0.10. Let X denote the number of defective produced in the sample of the new production process. If H0 is true, then 0 0.10 into 200 is equals to 20 defective goods will be produced by the new production process. However, if the new production process is better and hence rejects the null hypothesis, less than 20 defective goods will be produced by the new process. But a value just a little less than 20 does not strongly contradict H0 or the null hypothesis. Only if the number of defective produced by the new process is significantly lower than 20 that the alternative hypothesis H A P is less than 0 0.10 will be supported. Let the number of defective produced by the new process that is considered to be significantly lower than 20 be 15. Hence, a rejection region of the number of defective produced by the new production process less than 15 allows the choice of the alternative hypothesis H A P is less than 0 0.10 over the null hypothesis H0 where P is equals to 0 0.10. Thus, we observe that the choice of rejection is somewhat arbitrary. The test procedure used above uses X or the number of defective produced by the new production process as the test statistic. The null hypothesis is rejected if x is less than equals to 15. Hence, the rejection region consists of all the x values less than 15. It is for the set of these x values or the test statistic values 
that the null hypothesis will be rejected. A null hypothesis will be rejected if the sample estimated or the observed value of the test statistic lies in the rejection region. Moving on to discuss the errors in hypothesis testing. Level of significance. Level of significance is called alpha. Thus, level of significance alpha determines the probability of type 1 error. A. Type 1 and type 2 errors occur due to the collection of unrepresentative sample. We can make two kinds of errors in the hypothesis testing. Rejection of null hypothesis H0 when it is true in the event of using an unrepresentative sample is called a type 1 error. For example, if the rejection region consists of number of defectives being less than or equals to 15 but an unrepresentative sample of x is equals to 3 that is x is the number of defectives is collected the null hypothesis is of p is equals to 0 0.10 will be rejected even when it is correct p is equals to 0 0.10 is correct because the sample is unrepresentative of the true population proportion which is 10 or x is equals to 20. An unrepresentative sample may produce x is equals to 20 even when the alternative hypothesis h a p less than 10 is true. This may be because the actual x less than 15. Hence, on the basis of this sample, h a p is equals to 0 0.10 will not be rejected even when actually p less than 0 0.10. This type of error is called type 2 error in which h naught is not rejected when h naught is false. Both these errors arise due to the occurrence of unrepresentative sample and not due to the arbitrarily chosen rejection region. b. Probabilities of type 1 and type 2 error. The probability of committing a type 1 error is denoted by alpha and the probability of committing a type 2 error is denoted by beta. Hence, we can state the following. Alpha is equals to p type 1 error and beta is equals to 1 minus p which is known as type 2 error or alpha is the sum of probabilities of the test statistic values that lie in the rejection region while beta is the probability that the test statistic values that fall in the complement of the rejection region that is the region of acceptance. C. Significance level. Hence, taking or choosing a small rejection region reduces alpha and increases beta for a fixed alternative values of the parameter consistent with the alternative hypothesis HA. Hence, once a test statistic is chosen and the sample size is fixed, increasing the rejection region leads us to have a larger alpha and a smaller beta for any particular value of the parameter consistent with alternative hypothesis. It is not possible to simultaneously reduce both alpha and beta. Selection of alpha value depends on which type of error we want to avoid most. If rejecting a true hypothesis is more serious than not rejecting a false hypothesis, which is usually the case, we should specify the largest alpha value that can be tolerated 
and find the rejection region accordingly. The largest alpha value makes beta as small as possible. This value of alpha is known as the significance level of the test. At this level, the difference between the hypothesized population parameter value and the test statistic value becomes so significant that we reject the null hypothesis. The analysis implies that there is no particular rejection region that simultaneously reduces alpha and beta. The approach used by statistical practitioners is to specify the largest value of alpha that can be tolerated and to determine a rejection region on the basis of this alpha this makes beta as small as possible. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this module. A statistical hypothesis is a claim about the value of the parameter of interest. Hypothesis testing involves testing two contradictory claims or statistical hypothesis regarding the parameter of interest. A null hypothesis denoted by H0 is the claim initially believed to be true. An alternative hypothesis denoted by HA is the contradictory claim to the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is rejected in favor of the alternative hypothesis in the event of sample observation providing enough evidence that H0 is not true. A test statistic is a standard measure based on the sample data and on which the decision to accept or reject the null hypothesis is based. An estimate is the value obtained from the sample, for example, sample mean. A rejection region is the value of the x variable for which the null hypothesis will be rejected.